So uh, we have here as our guest Tom Malinowski, Assistant Secretary at the United St um, States Department of State in charge of democracy, human rights and labor. Welcome. Thank you. So uh, my first question will be on your participation here at the Freedom Online Coalition. So um, Mongolia is hosting first out of the Asian countries. So your thoughts on that? Well, Mongolia has been a leader among Asian countries on democracy and human rights issues for a long time. It chaired the Community of Democracies and now the Freedom Online Coalition and it's something that we, we deeply uh, appreciate. This is what makes Mongolia stand out. This is Mongolia's comparative advantage that it's willing to stand up for the rule of law, for democracy, for values that connect Mongolians with people all over the world. It certainly distinguishes Mongolia from some of its big neighbors, and I think it's going to be good for the country in the long run. Mm -hmm. So, um, as of your uh, thoughts or insights, uh, will this participation of Mongolia and hosting this event uh, here in Mongolia be the bridge or close the gap for other Asian countries to uh, enter the coalition? Uh, I hope some more will enter. Uh, it takes a leader for others to follow, and I think Mongolia has uh, done that successfully in uh, the past, and we will certainly uh, encourage more Asian countries to, uh, to take a stand for online freedom. I, I think, you know, it's interesting, there are some governments in this region, like the Chinese government, that mm -hmm. don't believe in these principles, but the people of their countries believe in these principles. People in China, people in every country want free access to information. They don't want to be told, you can't look at this website or you cannot say this on a blog or a chat room. And so I think whatever their governments say, what Mongolia is doing, what the United States and all these countries are doing, people throughout Asia support that. Mm -hmm. So uh, back on uh, our uh, Freedom Online Coalition here, mm -hmm. so uh, most of the participants are really recalling back to the human rights, basic human rights, that this needs to be protected um, online as if it's offline. Mm -hmm. So as you are in charge of the human rights back in the States, what do you foster on this matter for the other participants or what, uh, how much, because America is like the country of the democracy itself and it protects the human rights. Well, we, we, use, we, we come to the Freedom Online Coalition and, and the countries agree on a set of principles, mm -hmm. including the most important one, which you mentioned, that online freedom should be the same as offline freedom. Mm -hmm. and, and when we find countries that violate those principles, we speak out. We call for the release of activists and others who are imprisoned for uh, expression online because they've been blogging or tweeting or saying things that governments don't like. We have been pushing back against efforts by some countries to try to bring the internet under the control of governments. We think the internet should not be under anybody's control. Mm -hmm. It should respond to users, to citizens, to ordinary people around the world. It shouldn't be regulated by governments and that's a fight that we have in the UN and other multilateral fora mm -hmm. and the members of the Freedom Online Coalition are united in, in that effort. Mm -hmm. So uh, yesterday you held a press conference uh, regarding the day of, of the freedom for journalists. Mm -hmm. So in that regard, uh, just uh, about on your um, personal observations about Mongolia, how do you see Mongolia in that regard? Mongolia has come a long way in 25 years, but it still has some work to do. Uh, there are still some laws and practices that are frankly left over from the, the old era. And one thing we have asked the Mongolian government to look at is the use of criminal defamation mm -hmm. laws to prosecute journalists who are accused of defaming a public official. We really think that those kinds of disputes should be handled if, 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 if there are s lawsuits of any kind, they should be civil, not criminal. People not shouldn't criminal. go to jail mm -hmm. because of a dispute about whether an article in a newspaper or on a blog is true or not. 
Mm -hmm. So in that regard about the legal document, uh, we only have approved a do legal document approved back in 1998. And the submission of the new one is still being postponed. So um, how this should be addressed? by the government itself or by the civil uh, society. Legal document, you mean? The law. A new law. A new yes. law on press. I, I think these things sometimes take time. Uh, I, what's important is that Mongolia keep moving in the direction of greater freedom, greater democracy, greater respect for the rights that Mongolia has championed in, mm -hmm. uh, around the world. And we, uh, it's not our place to say exactly how it should be done in Mongolia. That's up to Mongolian civil society and Mongolian people. But we have encouraged the government to mm -hmm. make this change. Mm -hmm. I think. So then um, what would be the recommendations of one of the countries that is having best, one of the best practices? Our, our recommendation is that there should be no criminal mm -hmm. defamation. We, we, you know, every country has good media and bad media. Every country has truth and falsehood mm -hmm. in the media. And the best way to deal with that problem is for the media community itself to come together, develop strong standards, and to police those standards within their own community. So that if I think you have put a lie uh, about me mm -hmm. on one of your publications, then I can file a complaint with, say, a strong media council, and it can look at who's right and who's wrong and make a decision. Or mm -hmm. if I really feel I've been wronged and I can prove that you are lying, then maybe a civil suit. But you shouldn't go to jail mm -hmm. just because I disagree with something that you have written. That's important. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for sharing okay. your thoughts, and um, also thank you for having your time. Of course, thank, thank you. you.